be living in tonight, a revolutionary new approach to surgery. Doctors using sound waves instead of scalpels. It is fast, the recovery time can be measured in seconds, and some of the initial results suggest that this could hold out hope for so many medical problems. Here's ABC's Dr. Richard Besser. It seems like science fiction, surgery without a scalpel. For Phyllis Harbor Walker, this experimental treatment offered hope. Like 10 million Americans, Phyllis suffered from essential tremors. Um, felt a little bit on the worthless side, you know. A neurological disorder that makes her shake uncontrollably. At church, I stopped taking communion. I couldn't do it. She couldn't put right until her doctor used sound, ultrasound, to change her life. Touch me with your untreated hand. It's hard to do. Yes. Now let me see you with your treated hand. It's almost perfect. Ultrasound therapy is already FDA approved to treat fibroids. As part of this study, her doctor used it to sear away a misfiring brain circuit controlling her right hand. A knife is replaced by this. That's correct. So the Dr. Jeff Elias is the pioneer who performed surgery at UVA. And this transducer is, uh, contains 1,024 elements. And it's that energy which is cutting the brain. Just like if you took a magnifying glass and focused it on a leaf. Traditional surgery requires two separate operations with weeks of recovery time. But with ultrasound therapy, treatment can take as little as 10 seconds. There's almost no recovery time and fewer complications. It's just the feeling of... It's a vibration of something. So, I mean, ultrasound could really change the approach in, in neurosurgery. Not just neurosurgery, really almost any disorder of the body. Cancers, strokes, Parkinson's disease, epilepsy, they're really all potentially treatable. I wanted to write to my two grandsons who were in Afghanistan and Iraq. This is what writing before, and then... It was immediate. I could write my name. A new life for Phyllis, a breakthrough in medicine. Dr. Richard Besser, ABC News, Charlotte, Virginia. And we thank you for watching this night, beginning the week with us. We're always on at abcnews.com, and don't forget, Nightline will be here later, and we will see you right back here again tomorrow night.